Want to try something that's just plain old fun, especially if you like catching fish and something that'll just give you a good old fight? Have you ever tried finesse bassing? You know there are times in our fishing when we can accomplish more by using less. And making the switch to light tackle when conditions allow is one of them. I like to use the term when light is right. Clear water situations, for example, often call for light is right. Why? Because the clearer the water, the more visible your lure is to the bass and the better they can see it. So naturally, lure presentation is more critical and the more realistic it should look. And the speed of your lure is important too. Normally, in clear, warm water, I use a faster retrieve. But in cold water, when the bass's metabolism is slow, a slower presentation is normally best. I think the reason for this is because bass may not get as good a look at the lure, and when it's moving more quickly, this tactic really seems to work well in open water areas. A fish can see a lure in open water better than in cover. Today, bass are pressured more and more, and some anglers really believe that the fish are smarter than they used to be. Now, you know, I really don't believe that, but they sure may be warier than they once were. Consequently, I really think it's smart to scale down your tackle and refine your techniques if you're to fool finicky fish. When fishing is tough, light lines and small lures are the way to go, especially in clear waters. Let's go and see how it works. Okay? Okay. Small lures catch bass many times when nothing else will. When bass become hard to catch, tell you what you need to do. Try fishing light lines in the four to six pound range and reducing your lure size to these micro size lures. I've seen this work time and time again during every season of the year. Buster. Come here. Say ah uh, for me. There we go. You know, when making the change to light is right, spinning gear is the way to go. Bigger fish can be landed easily if you take the time and let the tackle do the fish fighting for you. Of course, you always need to remember to use a proper drag setting on your reel and a rod with adequate action and backbone. Let me tell you, you can land some really big old fish on quality four to six pound test line. And I'm talking about the warrior fish, the ones that would never hit a big old lure on 10 to 12 pound test line. Remember, you're fooling them with the light stuff. Another little specimen. Come up here. Little bass. You like that little bait, didn't you? Huh? Toodaloo. That's a heart shaped pad. They refer to that, I don't know the technical name for it, but we refer to it as spatter dot. These fish lay up under them, and anytime something moves over them, if you'll look right here, if you'll look through that, they can see anything moving over the top of that. You can see, you can see my finger behind it. They silhouette anything moving on top of it. If it's a frog or something coming over the top, they can see that, that silhouette. See my finger moving across it? And the same with a lily pad. You can just see that movement right there. See all my fingers? But they love to get around that form of cover. Now the best hook set to use when fishing this type of light tackle is just a quick snap of the wrist. Really, that's all it's needed, the tiny hook. Ideally, the reel drag should be set that it'll slip if you jerk too hard on the hook set. Improper drag settings will cause light line to break on the hook set. Wow. <laughs> 
Come here, you little peanut, you. Just wrist action, wrist and rod tip coordination. Wrist, eye, and rod tip coordination is all it is. Don't debate the work. Just, I do better by just kind of holding it, holding the rod tip down, this little bitty bait. Not moving the rod tip very far, keeping the line low. By bringing it up with that small lip has a tendency when I bring it up like that as I jerk it, I jerk it out of the water. So I do, I personally do a lot better by keeping, once it hits the water, I do better just keeping the rod tip low to the water. Pop, 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 taking up slack. Pop, 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 taking up slack. Okay, here's something else about your rod. Don't forget that your rod has to have a lot of give when you downsize your tackle. A correct rod choice will cut down on line breakage and absorb much of the pressure when you set the hook. So that's very, very important. I'll tell you something else. Using monofilament line with light tackle can also help. Why? Because mono stretches, and that's often a good thing because it's more forgiving and less likely to break. Whoa. Wow! That's fun. That's fun. Whoa, we. Where are we going? That is. Oh, get off me. Got a bee on me. Right, come here and open your mouth to me. To me. Say, ah, yes. Here's something that is an absolute no no. Never try to bring a fish in simply by reeling if it's a good fish. You want to pump and reel if the fish takes drag. Let him. Never reel while the drag is in play. And there's a reason for that. Say you're using a 6.1 uh, ratio reel and the fish starts stripping line and you make one revolution. Well, what you've just done, you've put six twists in your line. Two turns, you've put 12 twists. So like I said, if the drag is slipping, just let it work to tire the fish. If the fish makes a strong run, just let her go. With light line, always let the rod and reel do the work for fighting your fish. It's fairly common for a hooked fish to make one last run when you get it to the boat. You need to be ready for that last stitch effort, and again, just let her go. You'll get him. Mouthful of it, I can tell you that. Tiny little red bait right in the mouth of it. Whoa, bait just came out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you were it was crazy, buddy. Who are you looking at? <laughs> okay. Okay. You gotta realize that today, light tackle is far superior to what it was 10, five, even two years ago. Superior graphite rods now weigh less than three ounces. Skirted spool high-speed reels absolutely work wonders. And there are more tiny lures to choose from than ever before. This kind of fishing has definitely come of age. Well, he's a big old fish.
bottom line to what I've been telling you is simply this. If you're having a bad day or you notice that the lake you're fishing is crowded with boats and everybody is doing basically the same thing with no luck, you need to try what we've discussed today. Not only is going light a great change of face, I really believe, I truly do, you'll be surprised at how many more hookups you'll get. It may not put a 10 pounder in your boat, but the odds are really, really good that this tactic will turn some bad days into some really good ones. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.